So I was just making supper. Got some chip thing on. Gonna make a barbecue. Really dehydrated the bay leaves from the garden. From the bay leaf tree. Now I gotta take these out and put it in a Tupperware. Just leave it in the sun and let it do its thing. They're very nice for food. Okay, so having a barbecue. Got some nice Rip. ribs here. Rip and Brazilian sausages for the barbecue. They're one of the best sausages for barbecue. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. So simply just put salt on this, the meat, you know. When the meat is good, you just need salt. That's about it. It's got a, a very good taste, this meat. So let's just keep on this. As you can see, Brazilian sausages. And you know who else likes this a lot? Sasha! Oh, sorry. I was looking at the camera. Yeah, Sasha. Have another one. Okay, you're going to catch this in your mouth. Sit. And... Good girl! She loves the Brazilian sausages. Okay, let's keep... I'm interrupting here the barbecue guy. <laughs> okay, so it's looking quite full now. As you guys can see. We're going to fill this place a bit more with white stones over here. We also got to clean this whole stuff up. Okay. Uh, so I have to do the cement parts, the wall there, and yes, I think I also want to get some um, passion fruit. Uh, plant it um, like down there, so I can grow over the the the, the little um, house where the all the wood's going to be for the winter. So maybe it's just going to go right across there. The passion fruit just grow right across. The frisales is also growing. Uh, let's see. So this is also a stalk, and uh, this plant actually picks up very well. So we, yeah, we have plenty of babies growing. One, two, three, four, five. And we took a branch from the from the one that we found in the forest and brought it to here, and it actually just caught up. Amazing as it is, of course, some branches are dried up like it's normal, but this one, this one's good. That's why it's full of fruits. Uh, we also got a big bronze shell, which is pretty green. So maybe we should put this here against the tube somehow. Or put it on top of here. Yes, right in between. That's it. It's beautiful. This will go into a little like tree with the proper structure. But right now it's just trying to gain form. There are wild strawberries here. Um, but these are very little strawberries, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very tiny, so can't do much with them. Once we did catch enough to do some jam, do you think it's worth it? But the taste wasn't very strong, was it? The taste? No. No. Look at that, guys. Full of plums. It's getting a lot of vegetables and fruits, so we are good. We don't even have to go to the supermarket anymore to buy these things, you know? Hey, Sasha. So I got a lot of these ones as well because now they're very red and tasty. Yeah, more strawberries. So these are the first ones. They're going to always be a little bit weird, no problem. Some growing, some already almost there. Yes, very good, very good. Oh wow guys, just found a male here. How cool is that? So I don't... Yeah, so he's like just relaxing here. But what he should be doing is being with the female. <laughs> so we are going to be these two little lovebirds together. Because they are not going to survive out here in these rocks. So what we need to do is put them next to the the dirt and the grass and get some shelter because it's going to start raining a lot. So I found him like right down there. He was trying to dig into the rocks but he would never um, succeed, you know. He'd never succeed. So we're going to give these guys a little chance, okay. Um, and it's going to become like heavy rains just now. Although it's quite 
warm, but they'll be gone in the morning. They'll be up. <laughs> so, this was it. We, we were quite lucky. I mean, I saw this female, and then I was like, oh, shame. The males came like a few days ago. <laughs> And this guy was hiding away, so hold here while I take care of them and we'll go find a shelter. I think I got bitten by a mosquito. I can't really feel that. Come on here. And you little girl. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so we're just going to put them down here. And then... We are going to look for some um, pieces of dry wood that are there. Okay, so I don't... Oh, she... Okay, she gets into the skin almost. <laughs> so I don't know how this goes down, but... I'm just going to do that. Now we're going to get some pieces of... You stay here. Or, yes, then I'll go get some piece of wood. So I'm just going to move this a bit close. And they have gaps where they can get out in there as well. Okay. Give them more space here. Okay. It's just so that when the rain is going to pour, like starting to rain, and it's going to be heavy. Like that. They stay with a chance, you know. And this one will go. So we'll take this one out. We'll put this one here, okay, like that. All looks natural for them. And we'll put this one facing here. Okay, that's steady. Got my slippers on. <laughs> okay, that's very steady. And we just leave this like that. <laughs> Okay, look at that guys, how cool is that? And they stay a chance, see, it takes my whole weight on top. <laughs> and look underneath there, there's a lot of space, okay. There's a lot of space for them underneath there, okay, as you can see. So they're all good, all happy. On top here. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Like here, okay? Yes, yeah, so I'll put this one like this. And why? Because like that, it doesn't catch like, you know, it's more camouflage and they still have a whole interest to come out. But at least like that, they all stand a chance of doing whatever they got to do. Okay. There you go. So, we aren't interfering with anything. We're just giving them a chance because as you can see the wood's getting all wet already. Okay, so let's check on this. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so that grass wasn't all lifted up. So I see two holes that they made. So the female made one and the male made another one. So they're somewhere underneath those two piles there. <laughs> okay. So I guess they made this, this li their little home now. It did rain quite a lot yesterday. So this was really a good thing we did this. And actually this is from those palm trees, fiber. So this was an excellent thing that I had this just laying around. And... Um, I was going to like get rid of it, of this, of these pieces of wood, but I'm not going to get rid of this that I have there anymore. I'm going to pile them up next to the trees where there's always food, um, because I know that maybe there's going to be now more beetles, not just these, but other ones, because if they're coming here this year, that means that something's like... Um, attracting them to come to this area you see so if they if they start appearing here I'm just going to pile up those pieces of wood there so that they can always have a shelter and uh, you know just camouflage from predators because um, 
it's just easier and like that we can keep on making these cool videos so that's going to stay there and this rock is always going to stay here for now because I know that then the females go into the ground and lay eggs so now no one can touch this zone anymore so this is going to really just have to stay right there okay everyone so remember I told you guys I was going to try to reuse the compost buckets that we got so it's right there I can't really zoom now but I'll show you just now because I have one hand holding here the broom <laughs> with dirty gloves so um, this was full of um, old leaves and dirt and rests of uh, plants and everything so it actually created some humus right there and this has a bit of tiles and that so this I'm going to take out but that I'm going to put into the compost buckets because I think that will be our ignition to start the compost a lot of bacteria and fungus and all the stuff that needs to devour the compost you know just to start it up so uh, I'm going to just um, pass the broom a little bit more uh, clean that exit hole okay which goes out there okay it's a tap that is open as you can see down there and uh, like that the rain will keep on coming out I'll just uh, remove all this debris out of the way of the tap um, there was a lot of um, PCC piece of plants and branches everything so that is all going to now go to the rubbish um, and this is what we're going to use so I'm just going to clean it a bit a little bit better empty the wheelbarrow put this in the wheelbarrow and then mount the compost uh, sensor in here put that inside and start our own compost okay and that's how it starts and I have another cool surprise for you guys which we were also extremely surprised at it uh, we found some crystals cool crystals um, in our garden we weren't uh, expecting to find the crystals but we found some very cool ones they the white ones quartz and uh, I want to show you guys where we found it got like a big boulder which I think I'm also going to use but that's not all quartz it's like quartz and other stuff but of course it's quite dirty it's got a lot of iron you know mud iron so I have a, s a little idea how I can clean it but I got to do serious um, like several tests so I'm going to test different stuff and the one that gives um, success then I'll share with you guys okay I'll show you how the crystals are now like there we got like a comparison and then I'm going to already test tomorrow because I'm thinking of using um, cleaning agents against like mud because it's iron okay um, because it's, I'll show you guys it's got like a brown uh, stain to it so I'm also going to use like an iron remover that I use normally in the for the machines and old parts you just like dip it into the liquid and it just all comes like uh, natural raw steel metal you know so yes I think that will be quite cool and uh, let's get cracking <laughs> okay guys so this is where we found um, them some were found here I'll show you the other locations you see it's just like a so I started seeing like little fragments and it just became clearer and clearer sorry you see they started to become clearer and clearer so this is our, still our garden um, and then I just started like scooping more so I was like wow we've got a lot of crystals like mixed with these rocks and then I started digging more and just more white crystals started coming so then I started taking the bigger rocks out and just saw more like um, signs of crystals and then when I started to get like more transparent you see this I just started like taking these big boulders out which I'm going to show you the big boulder which is not a crystal but um, small tiny ones started to appear so I think it's fragments from a bigger one 
but it could be right into the ground so I don't know if we're going to find any more uh, stop it it's actually even cracking there you go see look there stop breaking it and it just appears of course all over so let's go That's a wrap on the compost and now we can start doing our own compost fertilizer save money and do things the most natural way possible okay just gonna spread it a bit here see so there's a lot of space to go on here just gonna spread it a bit now I have to clean the broom afterwards and there you go so from now on, everything that's food, vegetables, fish, um, fruit, vegetables, all those stuff will come into here. Let's close it up. Okay. Oh, exactly, that's it. We are good. Keep these ones for further projects. So, let's rinse this... Um, these rocks down and I'll show you guys a bit what we've been founding so first this is a weird one I don't know what was in here maybe something was like just um, rain here I don't know why this one has a weird hole but that's this is just a so this is what we got a lot here you see so let me see this is what we got a lot here look here we got plenty of this you see it's like a iron it has, a, you can see it has iron and and um, mm -hmm. a lot of other minerals, okay? And this is what we have a lot. But now, then we have a lot of this mixed with this, like, see here? So... See? This is what we get a lot. So when I took this one out, I saw that there's a lot of mixture, you know. Like if I crack this open, I know I'm not going to find anything. It's plain dirty quartz crystal, you know. And uh, that's why I keep on picking up. Look, you see? Look here. See? Look here. See, that was just a giveaway from... Uh, me start looking more and more you see that like iron crust here and then just plain white crystal so this one isn't like crisp um transparent you know so i kept on looking because i knew this was a a beginning you know although that is a mystery i don't know what, why that's got a holes there it actually clears up quite well but some of them are quite clean because I think uh, we've been like doing the while well, I was doing the hole, so I was just bashing it up because I didn't even notice. So this doesn't have anything, but it's just good, cool to. Because we like what we do is we take these rocks. I'll show you there in the front. We are like piling these up to like decorate the garden. You see, they're in an entry point. I think you guys seen it in the video before. That's uh, it's quite cool this one. Right. We got this big one, I don't think this has much on it, but I just thought it was a cool boulder. 
I'll show you the part that I saw sticking out and then I started pushing it. So what I thought was most interesting were these ones. Now these were quite interesting. Can you guys see it? See how cool that is? Now that's like you got the real diamond look, you see? <laughs> Very dirty. They're all quite dirty. Like I saw these ones. This one I didn't even actually still see. How nice that one is. Oh, sorry guys. So that's quite cool, eh? In, in my garden, I mean. How cool is that to find that in your garden? <laughs> this is actually the first one that I saw. See, I saw this sticking out. So I thought it was like too irregular. Um, so it just started to become more and more. I don't know if these were all together. So I saw this to go see if I can find more. Or, I don't know if someone in the previous post mixed the land up. And probably this is all like a bit scattered around. So I'll never find where this one came from. Quite clean. But it still has, you see, a lot of the... Look. See, a lot of iron, dirt. Look, cool spikes, you see. Look at this. This is all rock and then... Quartz, just a little bit of quartz, like a little crown. So, uh, I wish I knew where the big mother rock would be, you know. <laughs> like, here, look at this one. See, you got this like stone. Oh, look, see, look in there, look right there, look. See, there, don't know if you can see, but you got like the little oh, that's cool. I also didn't see that. You see now. Where is the big ones, you know, with the big spikes? That should be, that should be amazing. So we're getting these little, see? So maybe these smaller rocks are just like um, falling off from rocks like this. And maybe we'll never get a proper shape one, you know? Maybe it's just these like leftovers, I don't know. But it is a good exercise, I mean, if you pick up this several times <laughs> yeah, the camera you want to shake the ground eh? <laughs> you get used to doing a uh, labor you get stronger you know so I think it would be curious if I just broke a point if I break it like a point out I'll hit this and see but I don't know I don't feel like damaging the rock could have some interesting stuff but there's a very big, other bigger boulder than this one, which I'll have to use the Jeep to pull it out. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you guys this, and we'll see if I can clean those up, like with one treatment, and uh, in one go, maybe it's a cool trick for whoever finds this stuff, and it will help you guys out, you know. I don't know. And we'll test this one. If it becomes cleaner, then we'll just put all the others inside. Okay, we'll just risk it with this little pointy one. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Much more content coming up. Um, there will be more car events and uh, other cool events, animals events, and I've got so many projects like I'm always telling you guys. <laughs> so we're just going to keep on it. And uh, you guys stay tuned. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. And I'm out.